11 people across the country are getting a high tech look at themselves as they work to lose weight and also gain muscle. The stick 3D body scanner started in 2012 and it's it's a way to measure the body for custom clothing. But as Kristen Hartman learned by 2015, it had morphed into a metric for health and fitness. Kristen. Yeah, as of this month, the company says 900 of the scanners are active across the country, including one of the place where I work out. So I had to see how it works. A 23 year old mom allowed me to track her scan journey. All right, Katie, let's get ready to scan. Katie Roberts' small step up onto this scanning platform was her version of a giant leap as she worked to slim down and tone up her post-baby body. I'm healthy, but I'm not as healthy as I could be. It's why she got into a fitness challenge like so many people do as summer approaches. Her gym of choice, it's working out in Columbia Tusculum. To track her progress and to keep her honest through the challenge, she signed up for this before and after 3D body scan there. It's not a truth serum, but it might as well be. For instance, look how posture jumped off the page with someone who had a scan. You see a slope here. Yeah. And that that's really telling, I think. Jewish hospital physical therapist Tom Long says the visual is a helpful tool in combating what some call text neck, a forward bend because of devices which could cause neck pain and headaches. The picture proof might actually prompt a plan. Change of position is always highly recommended, once every 15 minutes, once every 30 minutes. Katie's first scan in April showed slight text neck, and in body composition, it gave her an average ranking. Trending a little bit towards the higher end of average, and it with, says it actually says at risk. Well, at risk is over 31 percent, and she's at that 28. It told me that my body fat percentage is a lot higher than I would have expected it to be. To come up with metrics, the scanner uses infrared technology to collect millions of data points and capture hundreds of pictures as you rotate on the platform. The company that makes it says fat and muscle measurements from the body scanner are made possible by regression analysis of data in the system, or fancy math all to produce a very telling picture of you. This is really cool. I've, we've not, I've not seen this before. Mickey Stakely is a certified and licensed athletic trainer with Mercy Health. She sees the benefits to using the scanner to give someone like Katie a map on just what needs attention. It can help in making up your exercise routines mm -hmm. and it can help and also, you know, where are you truly kind of concentrating those workouts and that, um, your diet. Diet is key in the push to lose fat and build muscle. So if you're not really paying attention to what you're eating while you're doing the fitness challenge, it's probably going to be a waste of the challenge. Katie amped up her workout routine and she kept her eating clean. That's a smoothie she made with some kale. And the fastest way to make a healthy breakfast before work. In this home video, you can hear her little guy in the background. Despite her busy life, she stayed committed to the challenge. Part of that was knowing she had a second scan coming. It showed she's still in the average zone, but her fat mass came down. She lost about five pounds and she trimmed inches off her frame. In an overlay, you can see her green post scan is smaller in places than her red pre-challenge scan. This will allow us to say, you might have lost three pounds on the scale, but you lost a lot of fat and replace some of that with muscle. 3.3 inches were lost. 3.3 inches? Yes. In five weeks? In five weeks, which is really exciting and I wouldn't know that if it weren't for this program. Okay, so the more than three inches Katie was talking about were just in her lower torso. The Styco 3D body scan at says that she lost a total of 7.9 inches off her entire frame and the scan showed her neck bend straightened. Her eventual goal is to move out of average and into the fit zone.